Good day, farmers. Purple Mentat here with day 10 of Stardew Valley. Got my watering can this time. Let's check the Queen of Sauce rerun first things first, because I think I missed it on Sunday. Yep, learned Qual's Law. Yay! Fortune Teller says that it's going to be a neutral day, and the weather report says that it is cloudy and expect lots of pollen tomorrow. And ooh, look, Marnie showed up with a kitty for us. Yay, kitty. Yes, I see the cat there. She should show up uh, day 10 or so most for most people. Poor little stray. Of course I will take in the cat. And uh, I think we have the absolutely perfect name for our cat. I should use a mod and... Oh, I added an extra L. Oh well. <laughs> Oh, she's gonna kill me. A pow lol. <laughs> oh my. Well, I wanted to be in trouble today anyway. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is why we don't have nice things. Get the farm watered. Get some more field snacks together. And get the tree tra tree taps going because pine tar, oak resin, and maple syrup are all fantastic sellers. <sighs> I guess she is now in a pow lao cat. What else are we going to do? Uh, keep trying to get to that nice healthy two grand mark before it rains again so that we can upgrade our watering can. We need to check on exactly when the egg festival is because I don't remember what day it is off the top of my head. I did when I started the series, but then so much has happened since then that I don't anymore. Ah, I'm out of water. No. I'm looking forward to the upgraded watering can just so that I can take care of everything faster and with less refills. So right now using the watering can uses about two energy per pour. I'm pretty sure that using the upgraded can when it hits a larger area also uses the same amount of energy, but I have been told in comments that the wiki disagrees. So that you end up using the same amount of energy per area. So we'll have to see what we see when we get there. Uh, for the time being, I know that I need copper and wood. What else do I need for tree taps? Oh, that's it. Okay. So we can afford four with the copper bars that we already have, but we don't want to use more. We, we want to make sure that we have five copper bars available. So we'll only be making three today and I'm out of wood. I'm out of wood. All right, time to go chop things down. But we'll get these set up on the pine trees because that process is fastest and will get us our earliest return on investment. I don't know which one's going to be the best profit per day, but I'm not worried about that right now. I'm worried about making sure that we get our money income flowing soonest. Now, the way that works is the tree taps slowly fill up day by day. Basically, every morning counts as one day. And when they are ready, well, actually, no, it, it counts by the hour, but you're better off harvesting in them in the morning and not worrying about them throughout the day. Because down that path lies madness of constantly checking everything and making sure that you harvest it at the second that it's available. No. No, that, that's a bad path to go. So we'll be checking them each morning when we do our morning seed cleanup. And when we have some pine tar, it's just a simple case of grabbing it out of the tap. And then the t uh, tap starts filling up again. Oh, and I have a very friendly person in chat telling me that the egg festival is the 13th day. So I need to make sure that if it does rain on the 12th day, I don't... Uh, well, actually, if it rains on the 12th day, that'll be a fine day to get my watering can done because I'll hand it in on the 11th 
And then on the 12th, it will... Oh no, because then I won't be able to water my crops on the 13th. So you want to make sure you don't hand your watering can over the uh, two days before a festival because you can't get it back on the day of the festival. Everything is closed on the day of a festival. All right, so that's that for the foraging. Hmm. I need to... I think it's time to get more plants planted. I'm definitely going to want to head back to the mines and keep going down. But at this point, I need to get more return on investment happening. I need to keep the compound interest going. Because if you keep reinvesting your money, you can easily turn it into more and more very quickly. And while I do have a goal... <clears throat> Well, actually, if it's the 13th, I need to stop spending. And I think I said that earlier in the series, too. So yeah, we're not going to spend. We're going to head out and we're going to do some forestry and we're going to do some foraging. Because we've got quite a bit of energy bar left. So we'll use today for chopping down trees, stocking back up on wood, and outfitting more of the farm with tree taps. Can't wait to upgrade this axe. Three less swings on a tree will be super helpful. Also being able to clear out the big stumps, though that's not as exciting. Upgrading the axe isn't really awesome until you can get to the iron level, because then you can clear out the logs, and that gets you access to a whole new area, which is just fantastic. Wednesday, tomorrow we need to check a special vendor. We've got the cash for it. Linus, Linus, where are you? You're not here. Random pinecone, okay. I don't know you well enough to trust you. That's okay. When you talk to people, you gain a little bit of affection with them. I forget the exact numbers, but it's very small. They do degrade their affection for you over time, but it's incredibly tiny. If you talk to them every couple of days, you can at least maintain without losing anything. However, the real way to get to people is by giving them gifts. Linus there likes an extremely easy to get item. Unfortunately, we haven't unlocked the area where that item is found. So we're not gonna be making great friends with him early. Though if you are planning on doing a ton of fishing, you want to make him a priority. So talk to him every day, find out what he likes. You can do so either through trial and error or by consulting the wiki. There is a pretty large effort from the community in general to get the wiki as up-to-date as possible on the likes and dislikes of everybody in town, as well as their schedules and where you can find them at any one time. There have also been some fantastic tools created by the community for using or for finding people, like a virtual um, maps and such that follows them wherever they go. So. Google around and you can find some things. Check out the Stardew, Rally, uh, Stardew Valley subreddit, you know, reddit.com slash r slash Stardew Valley to find more of them. A name that some of you in the Minecraft community are familiar with has also helped out with it. Let's see, what do we need to get the coop? Four grand, 300 wood. Well, that's not happening. I can't afford four grand anytime soon. Though I have heard that the uh, animal prices were changed around, so it might be worth uh, working on. Be nice to see if animals are viable. It's Sebastian! Such an emo. But he's such a cutie! I don't know. Probably going to go chasing after Sebastian again. Which, actually, that's a good reason to get... Uh, I'm going to get in good with Linus, so that he'll give me the recipe for the food that Sebastian loves. That's what we're going to do. Boop. I see a flower. We're going to pick the flower. I got a flower! There are people that will be very happy with the flowers that you pull off the ground. So, if you want to work on that. Let's see. Help wanted. You want me to kill slimes and you'll give me money. I think we can manage this. Just to double check. Ah, uh, today's Vincent's birthday. That's fine. 
and the 14th is Haley's birthday. We should make sure that we get a decent gift for Haley before the 14th rolls around. Hello, Evelyn. If you get people gifts for their birthday, they're much happier than normal. Yay, we're making friends with Alex. And the town drunk is off to the saloon. And she flat out tells you that if the bus gets fixed, she'll take you to the desert. That's where you can get the cool item for Vincent. Not Vincent. Linus. Oh. Hello, Elliot. Mr. Fabio the writer. Forest is a wonderful place. He uh, pretty much spends his entire day indoors, sleeping off the bender at the saloon the night before until sometime in the afternoon. Then he heads to some uh, pool, some portion of waterworks or another, the river or the beach or sometimes the pond in the forest, to gaze longingly over the water. And then he goes back to his cabin. And then he heads to the saloon to get drunk again. Ah, the life of a professional writer, I guess. Gotta find your inspiration somewhere. And sometimes that's at the bottom of a wine bottle. Completely unrelated, one of his favorite gifts is wine. Yes, that statue there is used for a thing. We'll get there later. <laughs> Alright, how are we doing on energy? 48. We can chop down another tree or two. At least one, maybe two. Ah, crud. You don't want to let people catch you rifling through their bins, but sometimes you can get some really nice things by rifling through bins. So it's worth it. Nope, oh, this is one of the potential love interests. Penny. We don't have a school. She doesn't seem so bad at first. But you get to know her a little better and you find out that she's like really not in a good place. Like super depressed and doesn't like her life and is looking for someone to basically rescue her from it. Which is super unhealthy and not something that I wanted to get involved with. So I have not done any of the... Um, relationship building or romance with her yet. Basically, she lives in a trailer, the only trailer in town, with Pam. And, well, Pam's a drunk. And her mom. So, you end up with uh, Penny basically taking care of Pam. And that just, I mean, basically ends up with someone who's emotionally abused, likely has PTSD, is definitely depressed and anxious, and is doing nothing to take care of herself. And in general, if someone refuses to admit they have a problem or get themselves taken care of, you really shouldn't be trying to build a relationship with them. It's a good way to drag yourself down into a hole of terrible. Morning, I accidentally stepped on a bug. Leia also has issues, but her issues are more like She's so unbelievably quirky. So, if you can handle maximum quirkiness, then she's alright. She's kind of the starving artist of town. Um, she talks up how much she loves foraging and living off the land and eating what she finds and eating lots and lots of salads. But if you get to know her, she'll tell you how, you know, poor and hungry she is. No experience for chopping up the stumps, but you have to do it or else you, the trees don't regrow. Missed. Oh, that's not a real stump. That's a fake stump. That's why. All right, 9 p.m. Doing pretty good. It was a good day. Lots of good foraging. Lots of good chopping down trees. And not enough experience to get to the next level of foraging, but that's okay. And as you can see, we're approaching level 5 foraging, and that's when something cool happens. What? Well, we'll just have to get there to find out, won't we? That's dark now. Where are you, forageables? I'm sure I've run by a couple of things and not seen them. The YouTuber's curse. Oh, I do have something important. I had a request... I have a 
happy birthday shout out for one viewer and commenter, Mehmet Yelmez. And I am sure I butchered the pronunciation and I apologize for that, but happy belated birthday, Mehmet. Hope you have, hope you had a great one. All right, let's get home. And what do we do on the field snack front? Pretty good. Yeah, we profited one field snack despite chopping down hundreds of wood worth of trees. And we got another tree tap. Put it on another pine tree before we turn in for the night. Sell what we can. And I think we're going to get to bed before midnight. So we'll start with full energy in the morning, which will be helpful. I want it near one of the ones I already have out there. So this tree will do. Bunk. Kind of love that noise, really. All right, and we're out of energy. It's late enough that it's not worth chasing off anywhere. Yeah, let's sell what we can and head to bed. I think tomorrow's going to be a mining day. Because I need more copper. I need a lot more copper. Oh, actually, I can... One, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, I already had plenty of the pine cones. Even more field snacks. And also, we have more of these we can plant. Hmm. It's a little late to be plant in the day to be planting seeds, but making more spring seeds means more profit eventually. And it's free planting. Sure, let's see what we can get planted before we turn in. Let's see, I have 20, so that's four. Oh, I better eat some things before I exhaust myself and pass out. Five by two, three, oops. That's not gonna be pretty, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, we've got two hours. We can get uh, 20 seeds watered. There we go. More money. Free money. This is why I love foraging. You get so much free money. Well, free. All it costs you is time and energy, which we've got a basically an infinite supply of energy as long as you keep uh, gathering your seeds every day. There. I'm going to count that as a win. Seems like winning to me. What do you guys think? Uh, we have a... I should save one of the clams I pull up, shouldn't I? Yeah, how are we doing here? Apparently they updated the community center some? No? Apparently not. Alright, I was told that the community center got updated a bit, but it doesn't seem to be working. You know, I'm on the beta version. I wonder if I even am on 106. I'll have to go check, I'll have to go double check that because the new community center controls with the Xbox buttons don't seem to be working right. Hmm. All right, anyway, what I wanted to take a look at, not fall crop, stop it. In the fish tank, the crab pot bundle. I already have a cockle and I believe a mussel. And let's see what else I have. Cockle, mussel. If I get a crab, a clam, because I can get a crab just by heading down the mine, and I'm definitely going to be spending more time in the mines. So if I save a clam and an oyster, which I can find on the beach, and get a crab out of the mine, then I can turn in all five. And the crab pot bundle rewards you with some crab pots, which is very nice, as normally they cost iron to create. All right, that's all for today, folks. Thank you very much for joining me. Hope you have enjoyed today's episode. If so, please leave a thumbs up and tell me what you liked. And if not, leave a thumbs down, tell me what you'd like to see me do better. Either way, you want to see more of these, go ahead and click subscribe, and I'll see you next time.